Okay, folks, I'm going to be reviewing the euro dollar work you see here. I did in the demo account for exhibition purposes and informational purposes only. So everything you see here in regards to profit is all demo account only. Okay, for full disclosure sake, I teach price action in a demo account. Okay, if you have a problem with that, then I'm not the right mentor for you. Okay, I. I teach how price is going to move. It's not the same thing as trading profitably, okay, because a demo account cannot make you or risk any money. So with that said, just understand that the disclaimer at the beginning of this video is very, very important and past performance is not indicative of future results. So I want you to take a look at the, the parameters here for the entries and the times that the trades were entered. Um, you can see here on the 28th of November, I went short at 119.15. This was a limit order, and we'll take a look at that in contrast. That was the London Open. And there was a New York entry here on limit as well at 118.98, and that was in the New York session here. Okay, just make sure you reference these price points. Okay, and remember when we go over to the charts, you'll see all those uh, specific reference points again. And then I went short again for another after getting stopped out on a small balance of the position I had on at 1898. I tried my stop a little bit too aggressively and it stopped me out. The trade idea did not change. I went back in, went short 1871 and managed it all the way down to. My lowest point of exit was 118.30, which is just five pips away from the lowest possible point covering a short. And take note that I'm only one pip away from the New York high. And I'm only four pips away from the London or daily high of the November 28th, 2017. Okay. So all this can be found on my Twitter. Again, you guys can follow me on Twitter at IMICT. I underscore am underscore ICT and you can see that here this is my Twitter account Let me scroll up here there you go that way you know you got the right one I am ICT and for the most part uh, everything I say here in this video was shared as it was happening with screen captures of charts. And every time I made an adjustment with the stop loss, trailing out uh, position profits and all that, that was done all on Twitter and it's still there. All right, so we're looking at the Euro dollar. This is an hourly chart. And because I'm primarily focusing on scalping, I've been giving examples of how to scalp the New York session because I believe personally that it's the easiest session to trade. It's the easiest way to day trade. Uh, it's not capturing the entire daily range, which is not necessary to do very well in the Forex market. But if you take a look at these examples here and the ones I've been sharing for the last two months or so, every single trading day, every single trading day, there's been an opportunity shared with you with results by way of a demo with execution, trailed stop losses, management, everything, profits, all that. And I've been sharing that all by way of my Twitter account, and you guys can go back and take a look at it. It's just not one cherry pick hindsighted example. This has been completely walked through from the beginning. Okay. I, I, I welcome you to go through the Twitter account and you'll see it. But the first thing I noticed, um, I noticed that the 27th, let's put the daily delineations here. So this is Monday's trading. I noticed on Monday, price rallied up above the previous Friday's high and then collapsed down. Now, I didn't have any prognostication about this happening. I didn't share it on Twitter. I didn't talk about uh, anything in regards to, to doing anything with that. But after the fact, after it had broken down, I realized that going into the next day, which was the 28th or Tuesday of this particular week of the recording, right now it's the 29th of November, 2017, my convictions were of that this was a false break above an old high. Now, when I see this type of thing, right away I'm looking for the idea that retail is going to be looking at as a potential bull flag, okay, or a continuation pattern. 
and that's what this usually is referred to in the technical circles. That this is a classic chart pattern and it's continuation in base. So what we would reasonably expect to see is the low here up to this high added to this low and give some kind of objective probably up into 120 level. It started to even gave you a classic breakout, come back, retest the trend line crap that I don't like to believe in. <laughs> Sorry if you guys like trend lines. I'm just not a big fan of them. I'm probably going to smack them around a little bit in this video. But the long and short is it gave them all the reasons to trust from a retail perspective that this is going to go higher, even broke another higher high, and they just reversed it. Okay, so how can I use this information? Well, the way I interpret price, when I see this break down like this in a false break, my eye goes immediately to where sell stops are. And that's going to be in the form of right here and right here. Okay, but this is a double bottom, okay, and a lot of classic uh, retail ideas suggest that this is a support level, okay, and I'm going to put the lipstick on the chart, save me a lot of time, and we'll just go right into the bare bones of everything. So right now, I want you to focus on these equal lows. This is a retail sell stop liquidity pool, and that sounds like a whole lot, but basically it's just an area where a lot of traders will have their protective sell stops for any long positions. So this classic area, which I like to call candy land. It's like taking candy from a baby. It's easy. The market's going to go there 90% of the time. Okay. So we have a failed retail classic continuation pattern in the form of a bull flag here. Rallies up. False breakout on Monday. Collapses down. When I see this, I teach this in my ICT tutorials as a ICT bearish breaker pattern. One of the strongest technical patterns you're ever going to encounter in price action, and you don't learn it in any other discipline. I'm the only one that's made it available to other people. A lot of people have taught like false breakouts because this is basically a turtle soup theme. Turtle soup is a uh, price pattern that, uh, setup that I learned from uh, Linda Rashkin and Larry Connors from a book called Street Smarts. Excellent book if you can get your hands on it. A little pricey, worth every penny. But what I've done is... If I can't get this pattern, how can I still trade it? And I've focused on a specific reference point down here, and it's the ICT breaker. So basically, it has to come back up, retest that, and trade lower. Now, right away, pundits will say, oh, it's well, it's, it's classic support resistance. No, 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 because not every swing low and old low or old high or swing high is the right support and resistance level. See, the context behind this whole thing is what makes my ICT breaker so strong. It is extremely strong. It's highly, highly effective and accurate. So much so that I had a limit order. And as you can see on the Twitter and what I just showed at the beginning of this video, my entry point was 119.15. It was set on a limit. I didn't care to be up at London. I couldn't be awake. I was tired, exhausted, and it trailed all the way up into hit it and the actual high comes in at 119.19 i was only four pips away from the actual high of the day now if i would have been awake i probably would have been closer to that high but i'll leave that up to you whether you believe it or not i was four pips away from that and then i got an entry as you saw on the trade recap at the beginning of the video you can still find it on twitter i went short again at 118.98 on a limit and it was only one pip away from the high of the New York session at 118.99. How much closer can you get? It's hard not to get excited when you see that price can be this predictable. So price shows a willingness to retrace. Here's the New York setup that I teach. And in this cluster in here, okay, I expected the price to break down a lot more cleaner than it did. Ended up knocking me out. But the trade idea did not change. And that was aiming for this area right below these equal lows, which is all on Twitter. In fact, I started the whole theme and thread of discussion yesterday on Twitter on the 28th of uh, November. I said, check out your euro dollar 60 minute chart and tell me what you see. It's a very obvious glaring reference point. And a few of you knew, noticed right away there was an equal double bottoms and there's Candyland. That means that's where the market's going to go to most likely if it's bearish. Now, the, the idea is you have to know what makes this bearish up here. Now, I'm not teaching that here. It's in the tutorials and in the further amplification in the mentorship. But 
For here, we have a sell signal set up for the New York session with a expectation that we're going to expand down into that double bottom to clear out those sell stops. So the levels are specific, okay? Now again, I, I'm doing these videos to answer the constant badgering, okay, that my uh, less supportive crowd on the internet likes to say that I teach supply and demand. I in no way have any faith in supply and demand. I think uh, Online Trading Academy is teaching a very basic retail perspective, but they put lipstick on it and say it's institutional this and institutional that. Okay, and you can say that's disrespectful. I'm just telling you what it is. Okay, it's the truth. Long and short of it is, I do not deal with zones. I deal with specific price levels. No one out there, not teaching anywhere, teaches like this. It doesn't happen outside of me. Okay, so yes, there's a little bit of chest beating here because I've earned it. No one else is doing it. Now, there's a lot of people doing what I've taught now, and they all look smart now on the internet, but they haven't done it before me teaching it. Okay, so what do I mean by zones? Okay, if I know that we're going to be moving below these equal lows, okay, supply and demand zones would say, okay, well, there might be something down in this area over here that may be a supply or demand zone. Okay, or as we're coming down to it, it would be what? A demand zone. Well, I'm not looking at zones. I'm dialed in to a specific price point. If I know there's equal lows right here, I understand that price is driven from an algorithmic standpoint. In other words, price is delivered by a predetermined algorithm. It will not do things randomly. It does things by design. So if I see equal lows down there, the algorithm knows that those equal lows exist as well. There's going to be liquidity resting below that. How much past those equal lows will it go? I teach that it, algorithm will reach 10 or 20, not 12, 18, 27. Who knows how big the range would be if it was a zone? I'm telling you exactly what to look for. Now, pay attention because if this doesn't knock your socks off, you're asleep. Okay. Bottom line is, is below these lows, I'm looking for two specific price levels. Two. It's 10 pips below it, which it nails perfectly right there. Okay. What's the low on this candle? 118.36. What's the low on this candle? 118.36. So below these equal lows, what would be the price, not dealing with a zone, but what price would we be looking for 10 pips below that? 118.26. What's the low on this candle? 118.26. Where the hell is there a need for a zone? It's too ambiguous. I'm precise. I'm precision incorporated. The next level below these equal lows it reaches for is 20 pips below. It. Again, I counsel you to pay attention to the levels here. The low is 118.36. 20 pips below that is what? 118.16. What's the low it goes to over here? 118.16. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. You cannot get any better than that. It doesn't get any cleaner. It doesn't get any more precise. Forget zones. Forget ambiguity. It's this is what happens. I got in four pips off the high. I got in one pip off the high on the New York session, and these are the levels that we would reasonably expect to see traded to. Now, my lowest point of covering was 118.30, three pips spread. That means I was closing when price was trading at 118.27. The low was trading at 118.26, and I was doing it while I was shopping in the mall with my wife with an iPhone and texting, and tweeting, and putting charts together, all walking around with people bumping into me, okay? I had so many adversities yesterday doing this on Twitter, and still shown an example of how to do this with precision. Now, it takes a lot of time to get this. It takes a lot of time to understand the mechanics that dress this whole thing up. But you had an opportunity to watch me walk through, calling it before the fact, not in a generalized theme, okay? I told you exactly where to look for when price was up here. And I said it was going to go down 
to here. Look at the tweets, look at the charts. I make it very clear. I spell it out. And I aimed for, by everyone's expectation, to see a run below the 1840 level. I wanted everybody to focus on the 1840 level. What you could get below 1840 if you were demonstrating behind me and mimicking what I was doing was up to you. But I drew your attention to here. My mentorship knows a lot of the things that leads to this setups over here, both the New York session and the London session. They also know how to reach for these levels down here and when it will go and do it. I will never make this any more than I have right now public. This is just one example, and it gets even more precise than this. It's freaky precise in the mentorship. Now, go through the Twitter, and you'll see all the charts again, but I'm not going to belabor you anymore with this boring stuff, okay, because it's going to sound like I'm selling. I don't want you to join the mentorship if you're lazy. I do not want you to join the mentorship in 2018 if you want signals. I do not want you to join the mentorship if you are a complainer that wants it easy, because this is not easy. It's not. Okay? What you get when you sign up for the mentorship is a complete breakdown in detail what makes price move. Where is it going? Why is it going there? How far will it go? And what time should it arrive? All of those things get covered. You got 12 months of content you have to go through. It's a lot of information. Each month you sign up, you pay for one month's worth of content. You have to go through 12 months of content before you get to a charter membership where you can go into areas where the other members are talking and sharing ideas and questions. You cannot see those things when you first sign up, and as you go through each month, the content you pay for for that month and the previous months, if you've been paying, they're the only areas in the thread or form that you can access. There are no live sessions. I'm not doing signals. I'm not doing over the shoulder. You're only getting the pre-recorded teachings, the PDF files, and all the lessons. All that information, you'll digest it at your own pace. If you want to go through two months worth in one month, as long as you pay for the, the product and you supply me with a satisfaction that you did receive what you paid for, it was to your satisfaction, and you wish to continue and you authorize your payment for the next month worth of content, then I access your account to allow you to go to the next level. Anytime you want to quit, you can quit. But you do not ever get a refund on any payments paid. Now, I'm going to repeat that again. You do not ever receive a refund. PayPal has a really good relationship with me. They've made over $95,000 with me in the last 12 months. They trust what I'm delivering. They have had people try to get their money back. Six people tried out of all 868 people. Six people tried to get their money back. I only let one person get their money back because they started up, they thought it was a signal service, and they asked for their money back, and there it was. And it was only in one month. Long and short it is, I have a killer record for chargebacks. They don't work with me because you sign your understanding before you go in that it's no refund, that you agree that it's not a signal service. You agree that I'm not teaching you with a live account. You're agreeing that it's all demo account. You agree that it's price action uh, study. And I'm not promising you profitability. I can't because it's a demo account. Okay? You're protected and I'm protected. What you do with this information, if you take this information and you segue into a live account and you make money with this, I do not want the credit for that because you did that on your own outside of my instruction because I tell you not to do that from jump. And I'm telling you right now not to do it. Equally so, if you take this information and you jump ahead and you do things that you shouldn't be doing and you take a live account trade and you suffer a loss, that's your responsibility. That's not my responsibility. Just like I don't want credit for your wins in a high five, I do not want to hear the sad, gloomy story about how you lost money trading information that you got from the mentorship.
Okay, it's completely and utterly your responsibility. Now, what am I promising? I'm promising a greater understanding of price action. Something that you've seen me do for two months on Twitter, that people in the mentorship watch me do for a full year every single trading day. There is not one teaching that you will not be able to access that they have gone through already. The only difference is I'm not doing live sessions, but the teachings that you get from those pre-recorded live sessions are the same as if you were there live with me. They're, the folks that want to come in and get live signals don't sign up because that's not what this is. I'm teaching you how to read price action to a level of precision that there is no other out there like this. And I mean this because I've bought just about everything that exists out there unless the new folks that just came up and they probably have mostly my stuff anyway, just being renamed. The long and short of it is if you want to learn this, learn it from somebody that knows how to do it, that authored it all. I'm it. I'm the one that created this stuff. I'm the one that formulated it in a way where it's understandable and it can be communicated by way of a chart. There's so many things that I cannot talk about in tutorials that the mentorship folks have access to and will have further access to in 2018. They're learning just like yours that once you go through 12 months and you pay the full 12 payments of $150 US dollars that's payable to me by PayPal. That's the only way that I receive payments. You do not send me cash. You do not send me bank wires. You do not pay me in Bitcoin. You pay only through bit, uh, from a PayPal account. The PayPal account must be in your name with an email address that you will not change. Do not use a work address because if you lose your job, once you lose your access with that email address, it has to be changed through PayPal. I only correspond with members with email addresses that link up to a PayPal account. If you try to send me an email from an email address about questions about mentorship level things, I don't, I don't answer you. I'm very, very organized in what I do in the mentorship forum. There's areas that are blocked off where only I can talk, and I'll give you an example of what that looks like now. When you sign up with the mentorship, this is the forum you get, right? Pretty simple, nothing terribly exciting in terms of bells and whistles to get confused over. Everything's labeled. Every area is designated for what its purpose is, okay? And when you first sign up, the only area that you'll have access to is this one right here, September. And I'll click on it in a second, let you see it. Once you pay for October and you give me satisfaction for what you received in September and you you give me this in your payment to PayPal and every time you make a payment to me I did automatic payments in the past I am not doing that anymore ever again it was a nightmare this way if you send me a payment directly to me you're authorizing it because you made the payment yourself every payment must have a notation included saying that you're absolutely understanding and agreed to there's no refund ever and that you wish to authorize payment for the next month's content. By doing so, PayPal has a record that you are authorizing your payment, that you have received what you paid for previously, and you are satisfied. Don't ever ask for your money back because it won't happen. Okay? You are welcome to quit at any time. As soon as you get access to the next month's content, in other words, as soon as I give you access, it's logged in my forum. If you ask for a refund then, I send that information to PayPal. PayPal denies your claim. And if you go to your credit card and you tell them that you uh, didn't get what you were supposed to get, whatever, PayPal supplies that to your credit card company and then your credit card company tells you, sorry for your loss, eat it. Okay, I do not lose chargebacks. And I warned the individual that went through the last time, if you're not 100% behind going through this, do not send me your money because if you send it to me, I'm not giving it back to you. The only way that's going to happen is if you overpay, which I can't imagine how that's going to happen now because we're not doing automatic payments anymore. You're going to send me a direct payment. I'll give instructions in January when to do and how to do that. But you only receive access to the individual months that you paid for. 
You will not be able to engage other traders. You will not be able to go to the topical studies. You will not be able to go to the general discussion area. Moderator area you would never see. You will never be able to go into the general ICT archive because this is where areas can be accessed where content and concepts that are in later months discussed. And I cannot let members that just sign up for September see and learn about things that would be otherwise discussed in say April or May of 2017's content, okay? So it's a graduated understanding each month, okay? And once you completely digest all 12 months, you have the understanding that re is required for me to go through what I'm taking this mentorship group from 2017. In 2018, the content they're gonna go through is individual trade plan development, where I will break down and build with them for well, not four, 12, complete trading plans, complete what to do, what not to do, when to do it, everything. See, a lot of folks signed up for the mentorship thinking that they were going to learn signals over my shoulder, get in there and make money. And none of that was ever promised. It was never there. Long and short of it is they wanted something and they didn't pay attention to the description. So I want you to understand what you're getting is just lessons and i'll give you an example of what it looks like here you click on september if you sign up for the first month you would sign in with your username and your password to get into the forum and then you go to the september thread and every month except for the latter months there's a couple different months where there's a lot of lessons but generally i give eight specific lessons per month these lessons are already done I'm not doing anything live. You're paying for all the content. So it's like going through a college course, okay? Each one of these lessons has an individual unique video. And then I give you a summary of the entire month's content or module, we'll call it now. But it's each month they went through the first mentorship group. They had a respective month of content. And every new month gave them more opportunity to learn something specific. I go through all of these things in graduated detail, eventually all the way through the mentorship. I reflect back on a lot of different things. And then there's other things that we won't be able to re refer to until 2018's content. So what do I mean by that? You have to go through 12 months of payments and all the content before you see what the mentorship group is doing right now. Once you pay for all 12 months and you've so you basically provided any satisfaction for what you got. You are now a charter member. You never, ever, ever pay anything again, but your learning continues. Obviously, you guys see me do 10 years of this stuff for free. Okay, I'm not going away. I love teaching, but I'm not giving you my best content on YouTube and I'm not giving it away for free. Okay, it, because people are taking it, they're selling it, they're making money off of it. And it's basically, it's my stuff. It's, it's mine. Okay, and it's been abused. So, my higher level learning stuff will not be shared publicly. A lot of people say it's the tutorials rehashed. They have no idea what they're talking about. The people that have gone through it know differently. Okay. So understand that you have to go through 12 months of content and then you are a charter member and then you have access to everything on the forum. Each month you pay, you only have the access of that month and any previous month. Period. You cannot access later months content, okay? If you've only paid 12 months in, you can't look at the third or fourth or fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, or twelfth months content or engage other members because I do not want the content being shared, okay? You're paying for it just like the rest of the group did, and the $1,800 you end up paying in total to me in U.S. dollars is your contribution to me supporting this forum the live sessions that i will eventually do in the future and 2019 will be a little bit more over the shoulder because it'll feel closer to a uh, uh well i don't want to say signal service but you'll be able to see everything applied because we'll have 12 trading plans and we'll have something that we can pull out of price action and i can say okay now we're going to use this and we're going to actually trade it live in a demo in 2019. Now, I know it sounds like I'm kicking the can way down the road, but once you start going through this content, believe me, the members that have gone through it, it's such a huge amount of information, their heads are still spinning. They, 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 it's just so much. 
So I have to gradually pull. I mean, you're looking at 25 years worth of my understanding, and I'm still not done giving it out. So that's what you're paying for. You're paying for access to me. If you go to a doctor, every time you go to him, you got to pay. You got to pay every single time. With me, once you get all the content in the 12 months modules, you never pay anything else again. But you always have access to me, and I'm always constantly giving higher level learning out through the mentorship forum and or, in, like I said, in the future, live sessions. Now, with this, every single day is a video. Every single day. Every single day, each month, there's a video. Okay, there's a recap video, and then Monday through Friday, there's a video. Okay, some of the videos are really, really long. Some of them not so long. The long and short of it is, it's over 500 plus videos that you have learning from. Tons of it's so much information, it's insane. Long and short of it is, I do not want you to sign up if you are not 100% behind the idea of paying $1,800 over 12 installment payments that you can pay at your own pace. If you want to go through three months of content, I'm not advising it, but I'm also saying if you want to do it that way to get closer to what is available to the mentorship group that's in there now, you can do that. But you have to pay every payment one payment at a time and get access to the content and then supply me satisfaction in your next payment saying that you were satisfied with what you received, you wish to continue, and you authorize your payment naturally because it's being paid directly to me. And when you do that, I, ask, I give you access to the next month, and I can only do it one month at a time. I've had folks ask me in the past, can I just give you the $1,800? And the answer is no. Because this way, you're giving me a track record and proof to your credit card company or your bank and with PayPal that you paid individual st installment payments, that you received what you were supposed to get. It was described perfectly, and you got it as described. Nothing was broken, missing, or misrepresented. And also, you wish to continue, and you're completely satisfied. I do not give my stuff out for free. It doesn't happen. So if you're going to go through this, go through all the way and expect to pay $1,800 U.S. dollars. Once that's done, there's no upsell. There's no, I gotcha, now I need you to pay me for this and that. No. It costs about $7,000 a year, okay, to do all the live media stuff, which I don't intend to do any of that in 2018. It'll all be pre-recorded things where I do the breakdown of the trading plans. All those things will be recordings that you'll have access to. In 2019, I'll return back to doing live sessions, but it won't be like I did with the mentorship because it was grueling. I mean, they were, it was every single day, hours, both London and New York session, and it's just too much. I can't do it. Once we have trading plans designed, we can go into the marketplace and say, okay, do we have a setup with this plan? Do we have a setup with this plan? So we'll have 12 choices to choose from each day that we can sort through, and then if there's a setup – we can go in, I'll have a live setting, and you can watch me engage and do the actual entry then. But that's a year from now, okay? You have so much to learn and practice and get used to before any of that's going to be any benefit to you. So understand, this is not a live signal service. I am not giving you financial advice. I'm teaching you how to practice in a demo account and understand price action. You saw what I could call in terms of the moves the last two months on Twitter. You've seen the results of it. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether there's anything there you know, to, to warrant your interest in pursuing it. You do not need to sign up to the mentorship. No one is going to twist your arm, but I do not want to hear complaints about anyone saying I'm forcing you to buy it because I'm not forcing anyone. If you send me money to PayPal, you did it on your own. I didn't rob you at gunpoint. <laughs> I didn't do any home invasions. Okay, So it's completely and utterly up to you. My free tutorials, there's plenty to learn in there, but you will not get what you get in the mentorship with just the free tutorials, and that's just the way it is. There's a couple people that quit and they didn't finish the last month, and they went online and through Twitter or whatever. They said, oh, you know, I'm out of the mentorship, and it's basically the same stuff. You have no idea what you're talking about, okay? They, they breezed through the content, and I'm telling you, the folks that are going through the work and doing it for real and doing – the actual study and the things I'm teaching them to do, they see price action in totally different 
uh, perspective than just the free, uh, free tutorials. And no other discipline out there gives you this type of information. It doesn't exist. It does not exist. Okay. So, and I'll say this also, and this is with a great deal of respect. There's only one other person out there, one other person out there that I would advocate learning from, and it's Chris Laurie. And Chris Laurie, you can find him on chrislaurie.com. It's C H R I S L O R I.com. And he, he sells his information too. And he doesn't teach what I'm teaching. Okay. I'm just telling you, you're learning something completely and utterly unique. And I've proven daily the last two months, every single day on Twitter, that there's a setup every single day with just scalping. And you learn position trading. You learn swing trading, short-term trading, which is my one-shot, one-kill method, day trading, and then scalping. So how many opportunities do you have to have to practice in a demo account? That's plenty. So hopefully this has been a well-rounded overview about what it is you get, and it's up to you whether you decide to join. If you do, I promise you, you have my utmost effort to make sure you understand everything there is to learn from my perspective. And it doesn't stop. It just keeps going and going and going. The learning won't ever stop. I do not have a timeline for this uh, website to ever go down. It's just going to get big, bigger and bigger and bigger and more information. And you can see in some of the threads, there's over 12,000 posts. <laughs> so it's not like we just started. There's a lot of exchange of good ideas. We have a really good uh, environment in terms of a community. I don't tolerate any goofing off or, or any kind of disrespect. We run a very, very community-based uh, service here, and I don't want disruption. Anyone that's disruptive, I will remove you, and again, you will not have a refund. I'll let you have content that you paid for, but your membership will be ended after that. So you also are not allowed to talk about it, and you sign an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement. If you are caught sharing, which I've seen this before, and I've kicked people out, um, you're not to share the information. You're not to engage me on Twitter and share the charts with the information that you learn in the mentorship. If you do, you're gone. You get kicked out. Okay. It's not for public consumption and I'm very strict with it. So I lean on a lot of folks and I expect my content to be mine. Okay. Uh, if people want to learn it, they can pay me to learn it. They don't need to go and learn it from Joe Schmo on, uh, you know, whatever, something, you know, second best uh blog <laughs> we're, we're not we're, i'm not in the business of uh you know giving handouts to the next guy to start up a business okay i'm i'm the genuine article on the real mccoy i've proven it i've shown it people have used the, just the free content and done really well the people that were going through the mentorship they're starting to manage people's money okay they're starting funds okay these are all things that they are able to do with their understanding i didn't promise them that they just know that they feel comfortable doing it, and that's what I want you to understand. The only thing I'm promising is a greater understanding of price action, not profitability, not quitting your job. If you decide to do this with live money and it makes you profits, you get the credit for that, not me. So hopefully this has been insightful. Hopefully it's encouraged you, and if there's anything else answers your question about what you get with the mentorship, it's 12 months at $150. $1,800 in total. After that, you never pay anything else, but the learning never ends. Until next time, I wish you good luck and good trading.